everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Stephen Brenland here and I've got a video for you based on gay experiences. Now I know a lot of you who watch my channel are LGBTQ+, and I know you like to watch my story times, my gay experiences, my gay videos, and I thought, you know what, let's talk about something gay experiences themselves as a whole. Now, as you know, well, you've probably seen it if you've been with my channel for a long time. I have a video talking about my first time with a guy and it's got a lot of views and I'm sure a lot of you found me through that video, but I just wanna go back to the core of it really and talk about things, just everything before you actually have your first gay experience and things that I wish I'd have known, things I can help you prepare with. Maybe I'll do a remastered HD version of my first gay experience, but definitely watch this video if you're about to have yours or a gay experience coming up, because I feel like this video is a sign. So before we get into the video, remember to leave this video a big thumbs up because it really helps boost the video. And then if I know you like this video, I'll make more of them. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. Otherwise, if you don't press the bell button, then YouTube just won't really let you know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, subscribe and press the bell button. Then obviously, if you ever want to talk to me or whatever the situation may be, you can always feel free to leave a comment and I'll definitely reply to you. Unless it's hate, then I'll probably just cry. <laughs> also subscribe to my OnlyFans, it's only $4.49 right now, so get it while you can. Okay, number one, protection. If you're a bottom, you need to be making sure that everyone you sleep with wears protection. Because, honestly, it doesn't hit you until you are taking that test, that test, that you may have a different lifestyle from now on if you've been infected with the classic gay infection. So please, 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 I urge you, wear protection. And another thing, if you're talking to a top and he's saying, oh yeah, I've got protection, bring your own, just because he probably doesn't, tops are going to try and sleep with you without protection. They're gonna try everything in their power to do it. And some of them are gonna take advantage of you. Well, I feel like some people took advantage of me when I first came out of the closet because I wasn't really aware of the actual ramifications. So please, I urge you, wear protection at all times. Don't risk your life and don't ruin your life for, for a little bit of pleasure. Also, if you are a top, then always carry protection. I, If I was meeting a guy, I would, I would always carry protection, okay? Just don't be that guy who doesn't wear protection. Wear protection. So before your first gay experience, please. I know that's a classic one, but honestly, boys are gonna lie about it. And if you're two girls, two whatever, then just wear protection if you can. Everything, everything that you can protect, protect. Second thing that I think you should know before having your first gay experience is religion. And more so, guilt. You know when you just get with a guy and you think you're gonna have that guilt feeling? Well, I don't know what the situation is for everyone, but all I can say is that when I had my first experience with a guy, afterwards, I did not feel guilty and I was expecting to feel guilty and really bad but all I felt was happiness and if I'm being completely honest I think the universe and God that year had been guiding me for the whole entire year for pretty much my whole life but that year specifically into finding myself and being led into certain situations so I could unravel who I truly was and now I feel so much better for it and I actually feel a lot more connected to God. But regardless, even if you're not religious, the only reason you'd feel guilty after having gay sex is because of society. So take society away and all the BS that it's led you to believe. You have your soul, your core essence, and you won't feel guilt. So remember, if you do feel guilty, ask yourself, is it because society is making me feel guilty or is it because I feel guilty? Because honestly, you probably won't feel guilty. All I can say is everyone has different experiences when it comes to guilt but i just i never had any i never had any after my own first time i want you to know that's hopefully music to your ears because i know it's a look a different situation for a lot of other youtubers so there you go okay the third point about your gay experience is to be careful who you tell okay now i think after you've had the experience you want to tell your close friends but Honestly, when I say close friends, you want to tell your closest friend because I had people spread things about me. Also, when I had my first experience, I was in the process of coming out 
and one of my friends who I told about me having an experience, they told one of my other close friends and then it took away that moment of me being able to come out to one of my friends because they were gossiping about me, which really pissed me. Never got an apology. Um, oh well. But yeah, be careful who you tell. And also, if you are having a first experience, make sure you do tell someone that you're going somewhere. So I told my good friend Amber, before she even knew what I was, before she didn't even know what I was doing, but I just told her, if I get murdered, I'm in this place, this place, this place. It was just to let her know where I was going. So definitely let one of your friends know where you're going. And if you can, put your Snapchat maps on. Okay, so it's probably going to hurt. I'm just gonna be real with you. In movies, it's all romantic and it doesn't look like it's going to hurt. But honey, <laughs> Honey, it's gonna be painful. Just be aware. That's if you're a bottom. And even if you're a top, it's still probably gonna be painful for a little bit. Just just giving it's giving it to you, if you pardon the pun. The next factor before you have your first gay experience is to not get attached to the guy that you have it with. Now he could be your boyfriend, so sorry if you're already attached. But you need to be prepared that whoever you do it with you are probably not going to end up together because the gay community in regards to dating is well something it's very fast it's very rapid and you are going to go through people honestly a lot so just be protective of your feelings i know people like to say have your walls down but honestly have your walls up try not catch feelings because i had an experience with a YouTuber from LA and I really felt like I loved him after we had the experience for about eight hours anyway and then after all the hype went away it I then went back to normal but imagine if I acted on those eight hours and I was like you know what I'm gonna fly out to LA I'm gonna tell him I love him you just gotta be prepared because I wasn't prepared I got myself a little bit hurt but I got over it in one day you just need to make sure that you are aware that you probably shouldn't catch feelings with the guy that you have your first time with and a gay experience with. So when having a gay experience, you need to be aware that you are unlocking Pandora's box. So a lot of people tend to have one guy and then a thousand after him. If you can wait around a month, you will be more, less slutty. So don't try and sleep around. I haven't had in so long I'm talking over a year and honestly I'm okay with that I've you know I don't uh, <laughs> all I'm saying is do not go crazy after your first time protect your body protect your soul and if you're not even using protection which I know half of you won't then please don't go crazy sleeping around because you will catch it. but for the other half of you just only give yourself to people who actually respect you. If you're a bottom, please look into douching and other sorts because you need it all to be clean down there. And also, if you are going to bottom, please make sure you really, you don't really eat that much that day. <laughs> I know it sucks, but you have to, you've got to do the rules. If you're a top, please make sure it's clean down there. That's the least you can do. <laughs> lotion is not lubricant, honey. Lotion is not lubricant. Get yourself a good lube because you're gonna need it. If you are going into this experience without lube, you've got another thing coming. You're gonna need some lube, some good lube. So you might have to spend a couple of dollars, a couple of pounds, but you're going to have to invest in yourself, <laughs> literally. Go with the experience. This is your first gay experience or your next gay experience. Just go with it. I know it's scary. I know you have a fear of feeling guilty afterwards, but honestly, the opportunities that scare us the most reward us with the most growth. So if you take anything from this, just know to trust and believe in the process and don't worry about what other people think because it's your life and you're narrating it, okay? Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot more videos coming out. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Leave this video a big thumbs up and a comment. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Put your hand